Currency devaluation is a strategic move by governments to intentionally reduce the value of their own currency. The key reasons for this are to make a country's exports cheaper and more appealing to foreign buyers, and to reduce the burden of government debt. In, in addition, policy decisions such as lowering interest rates can make a currency less attractive to foreign investors, leading to a decrease in its value. Likewise, Accumulating large amounts of amounts of foreign debt can also lead to devaluation as the country struggles to make repayments. However, this economic tool also carries risks. It can lead to inflation, increase the cost of everyday goods and services for citizens, deter foreign investment and cause economic instability. It may a financial crisis. While devaluation can offer short-term economic benefits, it requires a careful balance to avoid long-term economic problems, especially for developing economies. Thus, Currency devaluation is a complex double-edged sword that can be beneficial if used wisely and destructive if mishandled. Consider this, your cash today won't buy you as much tomorrow. That's the reality of inflation. In essence, inflation is a rise in prices for goods and services, leading to a decline in currency value. There are various reasons for this. It can be triggered increased production costs, such as wages or raw materials. Companies usually pass on these increased costs to consumers, leading to inflation. Alternatively, demand pull inflation occurs when the demand for surpasses the supply, causing prices to increase. Lastly, we have built-in inflation, which is anticipated due to past experiences. When people expect a price rise, they demand higher wages, resulting in increased production costs. The unique feature of inflation is its silent nature, gradually devaluing your money over time. So, despite not noticing it immediately, over time the same sum of money will purchase fewer goods or services. This is when you truly experience the impact of inflation, the silent thief that erodes your hard-earned money's purchasing power. Have you ever wondered if there's a link between your country's weak currency and the rising price of your daily coffee? Today we'll explore this connection. Devaluation of a country's currency doesn't just influence the exchange rate, it also impacts the cost of imported goods. Picture a coffee shop owner importing beans from abroad. If their nation's currency weakens, they need more local currency to purchase the same quantity of coffee beans, as their currency's value has decreased. Now they either bear this cost rise or pass it on to you, the consumer. The reality is most businesses transfer this cost increase to their customers, thereby inflating prices. This isn't limited to coffee, but extends to all imported goods like gasoline, food, clothing, and electronics, leading to widespread price hikes. This is what we call inflation, linking directly to currency devaluation, which can cause everyday prices to soar. Join us on a brief global tour to understand the repercussions of currency devaluation in various developing nations. First, we explore Argentina, where in 2001, the abandonment of the one-to-one -one peg to the US dollar caused the Argentine peso's value to drop sharply leading to increased import prices and rampant inflation that brought about an economic crisis. Our next stop is Zimbabwe, where in the late 2000s, the Zimbabwean dollar witnessed hyperinflation due to economic mismanagement, resulting in people's earnings and savings becoming worthless and everyday items like bread costing millions. Lastly, we visit Venezuela, which in the past decade has seen its currency, the Bolivar, almost completely causing an immense economic crisis marked by soaring prices, shortage of essentials, and a mass migration of people seeking better financial prospects. These instances highlight the severe effects of currency devaluation on people's lives, with common consequences, including a dramatic increase in the cost of living and the destabilization of people's ability to ensure their family's future. These narratives underscore the profound economic policies can have on individuals' lives, there are indeed ways to break free from the damaging cycle of devaluation and inflation. Nations can adopt several strategies, including implementing strict fiscal policies to control expenditure and reduce the need for printing excess money. Strengthening industries can also be beneficial, as it increases local production and minimizes the impact of import costs due to devaluation. Additionally, investing in education and infrastructure can create a more competent workforce and drive productivity, thereby enhancing the economy. Lastly, international financial institutions like the International Monetary Fund can offer guidance and financial support. With these strategies, nations can navigate the challenging currents of devaluation and inflation. That's a wrap on our deep dive into currency devaluation and inflation. 
We hope that you found this exploration as enlightening as we did while preparing it. Now, we'd like to hear from you. If you found this video informative and helpful, please show your support by clicking the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on future videos that delve into other complex topics like this one. And we're curious, have any of you experienced the effects of currency devaluation or inflation in your country? Or perhaps you have some thoughts or ideas on how to mitigate these effects? Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. We love to learn from our viewers and your insights could spark an interesting discussion. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more insightful videos. Remember, knowledge is power. And the more we learn, the better we can understand the world around us.